Hey, hello, namaste, namaskaram, welcome to my YouTube channel. The last video, hope you guys enjoy unboxing the Parrot Anafi drone with some 4K video. Uh, all you want to know is that videos were taken by me, not from any other website. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, in this video, let's see how to set up Parrot Anafi. Well, setup is not a, that much difficult as you think. Actually, Parrot built a splendid user interface application called FreeFlight 6 for customers. So it's not a big deal. Just follow the five steps, then you are ready to fly. Uh, before that, you need to do some initial setup. Welcome guys, in this video I will show you how to connect the Parrot Anafi drone with your mobile camera. All you want is one drone, your mobile phone and USB cable and a ski controller. Let's see. Before that you need to install free flight controller in your mobile phone. You can download from a Play Store and an App Store. It's both available in iOS for, for Android. Yes. And this you need to plug the USB in this USB holder. Connect with your mobile. And there is a hole for uh, mobile, this key controller. You see you can uh, adjust. Yeah, uh, you need to notice that once you install this app, you need to log in and you need to create an account with Parrot and Afi. And uh, yeah, once you connect with this, keep this and uh, turn on the drone. You see there is a light blinking. I forgot to say that you need to remove the cap of the camera. Yeah, and there is one thing you need to do. You need to connect this drone with the ski controller before you connect with the phone. I will show you how to do that. Yeah, for that you need USB-C cable because you have a USB-C port in this drone. Just hold it. See? Like this is the linkage between the drone and the ski controller. Now it's get connected. So that you can remove it. Okay guys, the initial setup is done. Let's follow the five steps. Step one, drone calibration. Okay boys, let's do the drone calibration. What you also need to do is just press the drone symbol and uh, you can see the drone calibration and camera calibration. You need to press drone calibration and uh, calibrate. It will show you what you need to do. First you need to rotate the drone in uh, Z axis which is nothing but to calibrate the yaw. And you see now it um, wants you to rotate in the Y axis which means to calibrate the pitch. Once you did that, now you can see, now it want you to rotate in x-axis, which is nothing but to calibrate the roll. Yeah, once all the step is done, it shows your drone is ready to fly. Press OK. Step 2, Camera Calibration. The next step is Camera Calibration. You can see some yellow mark in the camera calibration press this correct horizon you need to keep the drone in the correct position yeah you press ok you can see the gimbal calibrated automatically Once the calibration is done, it's perfect. Yeah. Step 3 Software Updation. Now, the next step is you need to update the software for this key controller. Press this. 
and uh, you can see there is an updated software version now the current version is 1.0.3 you need to update to 1.6.3 just press update now to optimize your flight experience we are going to update that sky controller 3 ok continue you need to wait for a moment when the update is ready it shows the controller is ready and uh, you can see the blinking stops now let's continue yeah all set so for the software updation in drone you press the drone symbol then uh, you can see here the software version is 1.6.8 if you need to update it it will show you the update software once you press that the software will update automatically now i am in the latest version so now i can't able to update so software updation for both the drone and uh, sky controller is done <coughs> don't look at me like that guys i'm not tested positive so don't need to panic it's just take off okay back to the topic step four sky controller calibration okay now we are going to calibrate this sky controller just press the sky controller button you can see there is a calibration button and reset button press calibration and then you are going to calibrate your controller press calibrate see it wants you to make some uh, moments in x-axis y-axis and z-axis just uh, do the drone like this That's it. You are ready to pilot. Step 5. Battery update. In this step, I will show you how to update the battery, the direct of your drone. All you need is you need to connect the drone with the power supply. And then uh, press update battery. And it will show you the details like the battery should remain unplugged to the power supply throughout the whole procedure. So you need to just continue. This operation can take a few minutes. After that you need no need to unplug the power supply from the battery. Once the update is done, you need to press continue and it shows the battery update succeed. Okay, we are done. So guys, all the steps is done. Now you can ready to fly. Before that, I will give you a quick preview about the settings available in Sky Controller. Okay, uh, let me give some quick review about the settings available in this free flight. Just press the settings. And you can see a lot of uh, options available in the left panel controls presets interface safety camera and network let's see one by one first controls you can see there are two modes available classic mode and arcade mode the arcade mode is available only when the drone is in flight state and uh, yeah the pictorial representation gives what are the controls of the sky controller like uh, this button represent camera and zoom elevation rotation direction and you can uh, reverse the sticks by pressing inverse choice you can see the sticks gets reversed and uh, this inverse choice is one especially for the left hand user like they can control uh, the uh, directions in the left hand and special then hand launch yes or no like if you enable hand launch yes you can uh, take off the drone from your hand itself yeah. the next option is presets you can see there are another four modes available in the paratonophy film sport cinema and racing like uh, in each mode you can configure the different parameters according to your need for example the gimbal angle the maximum tilt angle of the gimbal for the film mode and the flight status like how much inclination it need to do and the vertical speed and the rotation speed suppose uh, if you press flim mode then you want the rotation as slowly so that's why they give vertical speed as too low and rotation as too low but uh, if you in a, are in the sport mode you want the rotation most fastly so that's why they make an inclination and vertical speed as too high uh, like the same for cinematic and uh, racing mode like you can configure however you can want um, then interface yes there are uh, four other options in the interface show minimap map type show framing grade measurement system uh, this like what's that show minimap yeah uh, if you enable this then it will show you a sh small map uh, when you're flying like where the drone is the map type yeah if you want the road map type and satellite type or hybrid type you can choose whatever you want 
show framing grid like it will uh, give you grids in the free flight app measurement system auto empirical metric i don't know what's that mean in fpv go goggles yeah you can connect this drone with the fpv goggles and you can uh, test the goggles with this option safety yeah this is one of the important uh, settings you have to do like if you enable geof and cs then um, the drone will not go more than the limit what you said suppose if you set the maximum altitude of 30 and a maximum distance of 304 meters the dro drone won't go more than 30 meters and in the distance of 304 meters and uh, minimum altitude when using OTH. this is nothing but like uh, when you press uh return to home uh, the drone will fly maximum of 30 meters in camera yeah you can calibrate the camera here as well and then there are a lot of options available i don't know much more about the camera it shows auto record from takeoff lossless zoom only display over exposure anti-flickering yeah there are a lot of options you can explore it the network yeah, you can uh, find the drone here. That's it. So, everything is done. Hope this video helps you to understand how to set up Parrot and Afi. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Last week, I read one blog that they said, if you become successful in YouTube, you need to use three powerful mantras. It's nothing but like, karo, comment, karo, subscribe. Karo. See you guys. Have a nice summer.